Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this third part of the video series, I will show you how to do texture of this Pirate Sword 3D model in Substance Painter. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this video series, I will recommend you to watch that video, where I have shown how to do 3D modeling and UV texturing of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the links of the videos in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here in Maya I will set up the scene first. Drag and select all these meshes, right click and choose the default Lambert material. Now go to edit, delete all by type, and then history. Now go to modify and select freeze transformations. Open outliner. Drag and select all these meshes. Go to outliner, by clicking the middle mouse button, drag out. Now select all the unwanted nodes and delete them. Now select all these meshes and press Ctrl G to group. Rename it as per your choice. Now select this mesh and press up arrow key on your keyboard to select the group. Or you can go to the outliner and select the group. Now I will set up the scene. You can set up the scene as per your choice. After setting up the scene, I will apply different materials to the different objects. And rename them properly so that it will help me identify the objects in Substance Painter by their individual names. Then select all the objects and delete the history and freeze their transformations. After that, drag and select all the meshes, make sure all of them are selected. Go to File, then Export Selection. Choose your destination where you want to export, change the export format into FBX, rename it, and then click on Export Selection. Now, let's jump into Substance Painter for texturing. So here we are in Substance Painter. Now let's import the objects here. So go to File, and click on New. Set the template to PBR Metallic Roughness, click on Mesh, and select the FBX file which you have exported from Maya. Set the document resolution to 2048, you can adjust it later also, then click on OK. Now click on Bake Textures. Here, I will uncheck the ID map, and set the output size to 2048, and I will keep everything else as default. Then click on Bake All Texture Sets. It will take some time to bake all the texture sets. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends too. Now then, it is ready for texture. You can find different objects in different layers in the texture set list. This is because I applied different materials to different objects in Maya. Select this layer and turn off the visibility of other layers. In this Layers section, you can add different textures and customize them layer-wise. Delete this layer one for now. Now from here, click on Materials. Here you will find different materials. I will use the Steel Rough material. Just drag and drop the material in the layers, automatically the material will be applied to the object. Hold Shift, right click, then drag the mouse to change the direction of light. Now, create a fill layer. And close all these material modes except height and make it little less. Right click on fill layer 1 and click on add black mask. Then again right click on that layer and click on add fill. Go to Shelf and choose Procedurals. Then on the search bar, type Scratches. From here, select Grunge Scratches Fine, then drag and drop it to the grayscale. 
select the fill layer and reduce the height as per your choice. Then play with the settings to see what looks best for you. Try out different settings and adjust them according to your preference. Now then, create a fill layer and close the normal, metal and height modes. Then right click on the layer and select add black mask. Again right click on the layer and choose add generator. Click on generator and search for MG dirt. Click on MG Dirt. Now play with the settings and see what suits the most. I am focusing on this blade part for now. Select this layer, hold Shift and select the last layer, then press Ctrl G on keyboard to make a group. Now collapse this group, right click on it, and choose Add Black Mask. Then select Polygon Fill Tool. Change the fill mode to UV, and make sure the slider point is in the white. Then drag and select this blade part only. This will create a mask of the texture that is just now created, only on the blades. Click on Paint Tool to get out from Polygon Fill Tool. Perfect! Now let's create the texture for this portion. Go to Shelf, and click on Materials. From here, I will choose Steel Rust and Wear. Drag and drop it in the top of the layer. Now click here, and you can change the color, as per your choice. I will keep it like this. By selecting the layer, press Ctrl G on keyboard to make a group. Right click on the group, and select Add Black Mask. Now select the Polygon Fill Tool, make sure UV is selected, and the slider is in white. Then drag and select this portion. And select these portions as well. My computer graphics is not so powerful, that is why this kind of color problems are occurring. It will fix automatically, after some try and error. Now select this plastic grid bumpy, then drag and drop it in the top of the layer. Then increase the UV scale. Make it 30. Press Ctrl G for group. Right click and select add black mask. Then select polygon fill tool. I will delete this layer for now. Select this layer, and then select these shapes. Select the paint tool. I will change the color of this grip. Select the material layer, and then change the color, as you like. I will keep it like this. Now, add a fill layer. Close all these modes except height. And reduce it a bit. Then go to shelf, and select procedurals. Here I will choose something like scratch effects. I will choose this one, then drag and drop, but first I need to create a mask to that layer. Leave this one here. Right click on the layer and choose add black mask. Again right-click on the layer, and choose Add Fill. Now, select this scratch effect, then drag and drop it into grayscale. Now then, play with the settings and see what looks best for you.
Add another fill layer. Close all these tabs, except height, and reduce it a bit. Now, right-click on the layer and choose Add Black Mask. Again right-click on the layer and choose Add Fill. Now, select this Scratches 3, then drag and drop it into Grayscale. Then, adjust the settings as per your choice. Play with the settings and see what looks best for you. It is looking good for now. I will rename these groups. Now, go to Shelf and select Smart Materials. Select this material, drag and drop it in the top of the layer. Right-click on the layer and choose Add Black Mask. Then select Polygon Fill Tool. Change the fill mode to UV, then drag and select these parts. Now, play with the settings and see what looks best for you. Here, I will select materials from shelf. Select this gold pure material, then drag and drop it here. Now, I will adjust some of the settings here. Feel free to try out different settings. After that, select these layers by holding Shift, then press Ctrl-C to copy the layers. Then turn on the visibility of Sword 2 from Texture Set List, then select that layer. Delete this layer 1, then press Ctrl-V to paste the layers of the Sword 1. The textures from Sword 1 are copied to the Sword 2. But the masking needs to be identified manually. As you can see the black mask is already there. Just I need to select the Polygon Fill tool and select the UVs to apply the same textures. So select the Polygon Fill tool, make sure UV is selected. Then select the parts according to their texture layers. Now I will give a wooden texture to the table. Select the wood walnut material, drag and drop it to the layer. I will make the UV rotation to 90. And I will increase the roughness to 0.8. Now, go to Shelf. Choose Smart Materials. Then select Wood Chest Stylized, then drag and drop into the top of the layer. Then open the group. Select the wood walnut material, then drag and drop into the top of the base. Now, play with the settings and see what looks best for you. Now, set the camera in a suitable position, and let's see in the render view how it is looking. You can adjust the render time from here. I will change the seconds to minute and reset the time to 30, so that it will take 30 minutes to render. You can set it as per your choice. Now then, click on Dome. Here I will uncheck the ground, because I have already created a base for the scene. To change the lighting setup, 
you have to change the environment map. Click here and choose the environment map as per your choice. I will now go back to the material panel and twig some more to make the texture more realistic. Open this grip layer. Create fill layer. Then close all these tabs, except color and roughness. I will change the color to something like dirt. Something like this will be fine. Then increase the roughness quite a bit. Then right click on the layer and choose add black mask. Then again right click on the layer and select add fill. Go to shelf and choose smart masks. Then select dirt complex, then drag and drop it to grayscale. But it seems it is not working. As it is a smart mask, I have to apply directly to the black mask. So select this fill and delete it. Then select the dirt complex, drag and drop it to the layer. Now select this layer group and press Ctrl C to copy. Then select the sword one layer from the texture set list. Select the grip layer and delete it. Press Ctrl V to paste the copied layer group from Sword 2. Now, select the Polygon Fill tool. Then select these UV shells one by one. Here some problems are coming because of the graphics issue. Let me fix it quickly. I figured out that these kinds of problems get solved by randomly turning on and off these layers. Perfect. Now then, let's twig this handle portion. Create a fill layer. Close all these tabs except height. And reduce it a bit. Go to shelf, and choose procedurals. Search for scratches. But first right click on the layer and select add black mask. Again right click, and then select add fill. Now, select this scratch effect. Drag and drop it to the grayscale. It is looking good. Now do the same for the sword too. I will twig some of these settings to give some variation to this sword. Again these problems are coming. I will fix them quickly and be right back. So, I have fixed those problems and set up the camera like this. Now, let's go to the render view and adjust the settings for the final render. Here, I have set the environment map to studio underscore 03. Set the render time for 60 minutes. Turn on the caustic sampler. Set the width and height as per your choice. I have set it 1920 by 1080. Play with all these settings and see what looks best for you. I have changed some of these settings as per my choice. Then after setting up all these adjustments, it will take the render time as per you have set it. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.